Dude, there's something messing with my rod. Dude, this might be a... What the heck is that? I'm gonna go get that. Got another one. <laughs> Use these guys for sturgeon bait. Oh, yeah. This is perfect right here. Oh my gosh, dude. So today is May 14th. I'm out here with my buddy, Nick. He's behind the camera. We're on the Snake River today. We're going after sturgeon. So we want to increase our odds of catching fish. So I didn't really show you guys my rig, but uh, in case you're new, this is my rig setup right here. So got a Shimano Torium 30 as my reel. I've got 50 pound mono as my main line. And then the rod is just an ugly stick, big water rod. It's a 12 foot extra heavy. Um, and then the rig is a pretty standard bottom fishing rig. If you're familiar with any type of cat fishing, uh, this rig probably looks very similar to what you use. So it's just a sliding rig. So you got the slider and then you have a leader tied to an eight ounce weight. And then you have two beads to help save your knots. And then you have a crane swivel and then you have 80 pound Dacron attached to a 8 aught barbless Gamakatsu octopus hook. And then right now I've just got a piece of squid tied onto there. Nick is using frozen herring, so I figured let's change up the baits, kind of figure out what these fish want to bite today. And so I have squid instead of using herring just like Nick. So that's Nick's rod right there. He's, his is ready to go. So I'm going to see how I can cast new line so wouldn't be surprised if I get bird nested right here <laughs> fit time is a charm <laughs> whatever <laughs> call it good Not as far as I went. let's see what the current wants to do so now all we gotta do is basically we gotta mend our line and guide our sinker to go sit on the bottom so you just want to reel enough to have tension so like right now i can literally feel my weight bouncing on the bottom and we want it to stick usually you can feel it sticking because there's a lot of pressure on my line right there it just it sat for a little bit and then it came off you can see the way it's sticking it just came off again give it some line I think we're good to go. I think we're gonna switch spots, Nick. Maybe they just out heard a bunch of loud noises. Maybe. Dude, there's something messing with my rod. Yeah, it likes you. That's not a, I don't think it's a sturgeon, it could be. Definitely saw that one though. I that was a big tug. I definitely saw but that one. I don't think it's a sturgeon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jump, baby. He's on, dude. Let's go. Fish it's a super small fish. Yeah, you could turn it on. I don't think it's a sturgeon, dude. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, dude, it, it might be a sturgeon. He's not big, though. Yeah, he's already at the shore. Oh, Nick, 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 Nick. Are you sure? Yeah, Is that me? Okay, yeah. just wait, just wait, just wait. I go under you? Dude, this might be a, what the heck is that? It's a freaking pike minnow. Is it? Oh, That's a sturgeon. Oh. It's a baby sturgeon. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. That is a new personal small sturgeon. I'm gonna go up down, down there and look at it. Yeah, him. let's go. Go for it. Dude. That is my smallest sturgeon I've ever seen at the Snake River, let alone caught. We're about 40 minutes in. This is my first sturgeon catch for the year. And down here on the Snake River, 
he is definitely the smallest sturgeon I have ever seen, let alone caught. So obviously we're gonna release him, so I don't wanna pull him out to the water too much, but look how small that guy is. Look how pretty he is. That's awesome. There's a sturgeon, you guys see his fin? His fin's kind of deformed. So there he is. All right, we're gonna let him go. All right, buddy. <laughs> Appreciate you coming out and uh, getting the skunk off. So here you go. <laughs> so that right there is one piece in this jar. This is actually a lot bigger than I like. So what I do with the squid is I cut it in half. The squid is basically just gonna be cut in half. Cut it in half. But now you have two pieces of bait versus just one. So we're gonna throw half of this back into the jar. So I'm just gonna poke it through the head. I think it's the head. Whether it's the head or the butt, I don't know. I'm just gonna poke it through there. I'm just gonna poke it out right here. And then you guys can see that squid is just sitting on the shank of my hook. I like having a smaller piece of bait because you have this tip right here always exposed to hook the fish. Since this is a barbless hook, this piece of bait can just easily slide off the hook when you cast it out. So I'm just gonna take some eight pound test. I'm just gonna tie it all around the squid and then I'm gonna secure it to the eye of my hook right there. Sandals and rocks don't mix. <laughs> yeah, we'll switch. I'm over yours. Yep. So we just had a switch because Nick's weight was kind of stuck in front of us. Mine drifted over Nick's line. And so we had like a line cross. So I just brought my rod over to Nick's rod holder. Basically we just switched spots. That way our line are like more parallel to each other versus perpendicular. That way, if a fish bites, we don't have the problem of line crossing. Oh, oh, is that a bite? Already? Oh, that's a bite, dude. Forgot to measure that guy. <laughs> I'd say like what, 27 inches? Half I'd say it's all over, a little over two feet. There we go, boy. Oh, I was recording. Oh. Come on now. Oh. It, oh, oh. <laughs> Fish on. <laughs> Unless I'm stuck, but I don't think I'm stuck. Wait for it to jump. It's gonna jump. That's what happened to me. Oh. Oh no. Maybe I was stuck. What the heck? Why does it feel so weird? I might have a fish, dude. Yeah, I, I definitely have a fish, dude. Fish on. <laughs> If it's another little dinky sturgeon. I don't know about my thing. I hope it's not you. I, I think it is me. Yeah. I think it's another little dinky fish. <laughs> what the heck is going on today, Nick? I don't know. Dude, look at it. It's another little sturgeon. Is it? That's a sturgeon, huh? That's a little, little sturgeon. What? Am I under you? I'm over. I guess my weight was just stuck, so I thought it was a big one because I could feel the head shakes, but well, it's not the case because we got an even smaller sturgeon this time. I wonder if these are hatchery. Look how gorgeous that little guy is. I'm gonna unhook them right here. Again, we are using barbless hooks, so the hook just pops right out. Hook pops right out. All right, let me show you guys to the camera. Look how gorgeous that little guy is. Gorgeous fish. But all right, he's a little guy, so we don't want to mess around with him too much. We're going to release him right here. 
what would you say like nick like two feet i say about a feet like this is probably like a foot right here yeah like a two footer there he goes full of energy all right folks our time is up sun is long gone so i'm gonna pull up her rods that's all she wrote for today try again tomorrow in the morning and pretty much all day Oh, well, there's my squid. Looks as intact as it can be after being tossed out there. So it's gonna put the rod back in the rod holder and then we're gonna call it good. Just leave it there. All right, it is the following morning. It is the 15th of May, actually, halfway through May. It's 5.25 a.m. I just got my rod all set up in the water. Nick's been out for like over an hour now. He said he got a hit. I was still snoozing, so decided to relight up our fire right here just because it is a little bit chilly. We just got our rods up here and we'll see if a big fish want to play today. No bites yet, so figured glass for some deer. Got the spotter, spotted two bucks, and I spotted a doe and a fawn. Goes back to the point when it comes to sturgeon fishing. Sometimes you gotta wait to have a bite. What was that? I think my weight flew off because it like went bling, like oh. that, and, but never know right yeah you never know well anyway <laughs> speak of the devil we uh we were just chilling by the fire glassing up deer and then that just happened all right there's a little worm with a small hook just nothing else to it just a small hook we're gonna we'll fish for these pike minnow I don't even know how far I can cast with this thing, honestly. Oh, oh I could cast far. That's good enough. Oh. All right, we're just sight fishing for these pikers. Pike minnow. I got one. <laughs> so guys, on the Snake River here, there is a pike minnow problem. You can actually get paid to catch and kill these guys so even these little guys we're gonna use these guys for sturgeon bait and we're basically gonna use these guys whole because they fit that hook perfectly so we're just here boyer park catching sturgeon bait throw them in ice got another one <laughs> all right never mind i'll come back this time <laughs> Dude, these guys are perfect. All right, good to go? No, we got more than enough. Yep. All right, we just got done catching some fresh bait. And now we're gonna head to our next spot. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Fish on. Oh my gosh, this is a big one. 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 Hurry up, dude, it's our fish. <laughs> Dude, I just I just heard your drag start going. I was like, oh crap, there's a fish. I don't care. I heard the jump. Did it jump? I don't know. I just heard your drag start going. I look at your rod. Your rod was just going. Hurry up, dude. Here's your fish. Oh, so let me record 
dog? No, dude, this is your fish. Oh, dude. All right, all right, all right. oh my god. It's a big one, dude. It's a big fish. <laughs> He's way out there, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna say it. Woo! Did he jump? No, no, no. Oh. Nick and I, we literally just caught these pike minnow like 30, 40 minutes ago. Came to this spot. I'm still rigging up. Nick throws his rod out. He says, I'm going to go to the car, go get some rope to tie my rod down. I'm still sitting in the tent. I just hear Nick's drag start. Zzz, zzz, zzz. I look at a rod. I was like, oh, that's a fish on. You can, yeah, dude, you have plenty of line, dude. Yeah, I'm a... Yeah, you don't... I don't need a horse. I need to be the... Yeah, we just got to watch out because there is that ledge. Yeah. Because he's... I know he's in the current. I don't know I don't know where you're... Uh, you dropped your rig or your bait. I dropped it straight out, like, try to go that way, and then it floated down. Yeah, so he's in the channel for sure. Dude, he's just going, man. You're going to have to horse him all the way back. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is incredible. Guys... If you guys don't believe in fresh bait, this is a pr prime example right here. We caught those fish 40 minutes ago. If I had to estimate, be specific, seven minutes into that cast, fish on. I mean, you got brand new line, right? Brand new, Dude, brand he... new. It's just put on. Yeah. Just put it on last week. Yeah. When uh, the other guy spooled me up, so I had a freaking... Um... Like, try to test him, see if he's going to want to turn around too. Because, Dan, you got, you got a lot of line to retrieve, man. Here I go. All right, here you go. Yeah, yeah, he's turning around. If he's gonna turn around, horse him. Like, just don't don't give him the chance to turn his head back around. Yep. All right, dude, that's a rock. <laughs> it's my fight now, baby. Oh, it's my turn to fight now. Oh yeah. That's exactly what we've been waiting for. He had his run. Now it's Nick's turn. I got a belly full of food. I got. I just drank the whole can of. Energy Bang. drink? Yeah. I'm you're, ready to go, you're good baby. good to go. I'm good to go. I'm going to let you fight him as long as you want, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm saying seven-footer. Let's see. Oh, there. He pulled that one. Yeah, he's coming, man. Oh, yeah. So the main concern whenever I'm fishing this spot right here is the contours of the river so if you cast like 70 yards and further you fall into the main channel of the river but the problem with this spot is there's a big drop off so it shallows and then it drops off and then that's where the sturgeon typically like to hang out so what happens is when you throw your bait into that channel if you have a fish on let me demonstrate with this imagine this this is a ledge so you guys are up here you throw your bait into the channel. So if the fish is down here and you guys are up here, what happens is your line rubs on this ledge and then it goes down to the fish. And so when you fight the fish, your line is constantly rubbing on that ledge, which when your line rubs, it frays, it weakens your line and then it can snap off. The majority of fish that I lose does not come off of a breaking a knot, hook bending, hook breaking. Majority of the time when I lose fish, it is because the main line itself is constantly rubbing on rocks or some kind of structure to the point where it weakens and all that tension between you and that fish just snaps the line apart. Now, since we're on the bank, there's not much you can do about it. You can try your best to horse the fish up and over that ledge, but you can't really control what these fish are gonna do, especially when they're big fish like the one Nick has on here. So. Right now, we don't feel any ledge or any line fraying because he's still way out there. So we can only hope that by the time he gets close to that ledge, he's tired out and he'll just rise up to the surface and we could just pull him over that ledge. Oh, not barely going. I'm feeling pulling. Watch out, don't, don't touch your line. Yeah. Oh, round two, he's going. <laughs> Come on, I just got line back. This is the fun of it, man. Heck yeah, dude. This is how you know that. You, all right, it's not no snag. It's a real fish. <laughs> First off, a snag wouldn't be pulling drag. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, he's oh. right there. Oh. That thing was. That, that's a big fish. Yeah, dude. Basically got the whole spool back. Is he going again? Yeah. Wow. He's got a lot of. He's, he's got, got a lot of heart to him. Yeah, he does. Dude, he's like right there, dude. Just gonna get out of your way. You're just gonna get your shoes wet. You go land them. These are halfway waterproof boots. You're gonna you're gonna submerge them. It's, it's a long fish, yeah. Like I did last year when I landed mine. Oh. He's right there, baby! Woo. He's right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's gonna swim upstream. On, That's a big fish, Nick. That's a big fish. He's going again. Dude, I can hear my line, dude. My line is not good. Yeah, we gotta land him soon. I mean, we saw him, so that's brought a lot of progress. Yeah, I can hear your line too. That's not good, dude. That's not good. I think this is. I think this is it right here, Nick. Go, 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 go. Dude. Dude. Stop. You see all the wake? He's right there, Nick. I see him. I see him, baby. I see him. Come on, come on. That's a big fish, Nick. Oh my gosh. Come on, Nick. He's gonna go. Dang it, dang it, dang it. He's, he's right there, I see him. I see him. Come on, keep, just just like that, just like that. Just, oh. Oh, my bad, I scared him. When you get the chance, come over here. We're gonna land him right here. Line, He's right there, dude. Okay, I'm gonna let you get him all the way right here. Pull him this way. Yeah, pull him this way. Nope. He's he's tired, dude. Yeah. He's out. He's he's done. Come on, Nick. Turn his turn her head. Come on. I'm gonna get out. Turn the head. Turn the head if you can. Turn. Come on. My weight's gone. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh, Nick. He is fat. That is a beast. He's fat. That's a beast. He's so oh fat, dude. Okay, I want like this. Is that good? Okay. All right, we got to release her. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and unhook her. And then whenever you're ready, just, just let her go. Turn her face. Okay, she's gonna go. Let her go. Watch out. Don't let her tail swipe you. Push her in a little. Help her out. Oh, no, she's good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Nick. <laughs> oh my goodness. So if you guys take a look at this, you guys can see all that white stuff. That's from the line rubbing on rocks and other structure underwater. When you have this stuff, your line really weakens. That's why near the end before we landed her, we were both getting super nervous because every single time she ran and Nick reeled in, Nick was like, dude, this is getting worse. But then luckily she ran out. And so what Nick's gonna do is he's basically gonna replace his whole spool because that stuff ain't gonna last if you have another fish on like that. So I'm gonna swap it out with brand new line. Yeah, I think you have a perfect spool. We had to re-rig because I lost my rig on my other rods. So instead of having to re-rig, the advantage of having two rods is you can just resort to your second rod and not have to start from scratch again. So this rod is probably older than me. This rod and reel setup. This is my dad's rod and reel setup. Basically the older model of the ugly stick. And then this is a die wall sea line discontinued. I've got the same exact rig. And let me show you guys what I got on here. This is one of the pike middle we caught earlier and I just have my shank basically through half of its body. And usually I don't use bait this big, but I figured since we have so much pike minnow to go around, don't really have to be conservative about our bait. So we're just gonna use an entire pike minnow. And plus this guy's a smaller one. The bigger ones we caught, 
those will definitely be cut in half, but here we go. Don't like it. Again, this is my first time casting this rod with new line, so I wasn't surprised that my uh, brake wasn't adjusted properly. So just gonna reel in and do it again. Just gonna tighten the brake slightly. Oh yeah. Now we gotta bring our rod back and hopefully our weight will stick to the bottom. Come on, please sit, please sit. This is where I want you, come on, please. Oh, so there's a hole like right in front of us. This is where I want my bait to stick, but the current is so fast, it's like hitting it way over here. So as you guys look, oh, oh, dang it. Come on, hit. Yes, yes. Yeah, mine didn't go that, there. dude, this, That's perfect right this there. is perfect right here. Oh, I got my bike right there. I'll make sure the rod doesn't fly. Dude, this rod is in a good spot. Very. I'm gonna turn the clicker on this one. Yeah, I just did all that stuff, all the good stuff with mine. Okay, making sure the drag's all set. All right, folks. I've got a really good feeling about this one right here. It's stuck right in that hole. This is about where Nick got his fish too. We always cast upstream so that the current can hit our weight and our weight comes sits right here. And my rod is perfect. Nick's is a little to the left, but his is still perfect too. Mine earlier was like way down there. All right, here we go. You might use it. Might as well eat all the crap cheese, right? Might as well. I thought that was a boy for a second. And I knew, I knew you were going to think that. Oh, God, I'm going to be careful. Oh. I, I, saw I saw movement. I saw it. I saw it. It was just a couple little... I saw movement. I saw movement too. It's so subtle movement that it scares you. Yeah, the water is cold. It is cold. I knew he was messing with me, Nick. I was like a big in, dude. I knew he was messing with me. Like a big in. <laughs> Fish on. Oh yeah, Nick. I didn't even get to take a bite of my taco. He doesn't feel as big as yours. So big in belly looks like. Oh. Did I? Oh, I still have him. I think my weight popped off. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, Nick, he's going, dude. Oh, let's go. It's a big in, Nick. Now I've got 50 pound test on him. So I got it a little tight, but then he's going, hey Nick, yeah. you want to do me a favor and pull your rod out, honestly? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my God. He, I think it's a big one, dude. Well, I think the 
same one. Am I under or am I over? I'm over. No, th this way, Nick. Come under me. Yep. Thanks, dude. Yeah, hey, no problem, my dude. Oh, he's turning around. Dude, I've got my tight, my drag real tight and he's still going. Oh my gosh. All right. Are looking good. <laughs> eat up nick eat up we're gonna have to swap i can tell my body is not ready yo rocks Just a little. You ready? I need to eat, dude. Back out. I need to eat. I can't do this. Hold up. Let me take a drink of this. Oh, here he goes. Woo! All right. Ready when you are. All right. I need to go eat my taco. Got it. Oh, my gosh. There was a reason why I wanted to cook as fast as I can. My body's drained. I can feel it. I'm going to go eat. I'm like trying to devour this as fast as I can. Nick's over there taking the lead. He's a beast, man. He just fought that 90 inch all by himself. And when you come sturgeon fishing, make sure you guys have a lot of food to fuel up, man. These fish are no joke. All right, my dude. You still want to fight him? Go for it, dog. I am beat. <laughs> I gotta put my gloves. I'm gonna get blisters by the end of the fucking uh This is all dead body weight. He's got a lot of good body weight. Nice and easy takes it. Nice and easy. So one of the questions I get is, why do I hook my rod like this with my arm instead of holding it like this? Well, if you were to hold it like this, if you extend your arm, look how far I have to bend back just to get my rod vertical. If I hook my arm like this, I just use my body versus my arm to fight the weight of the sturgeon. So when you guys see me hooking my rod like this, you guys can see I, I don't have to go like this to get my rod vertical. You use your body weight to fight his body weight. You don't use your arm to fight his body weight because your arm will tire up way faster than your body. So just in case you were wondering why I do this, and you can only do this with a bait caster because the line is on top of the rod. If you have a spinning rod, if you do this, 
your line is the line is gonna cut your arm because you're you're sandwiching your line. This is only doable with a bait caster rod unless you've got like metal skin. That's why whenever I reel, I just hook my arm around the rod and just use my body to bend backwards to bring in his body weight. It's just much more efficient. Here he goes. He was right there. You saw him? He was right there. I saw the ripple, I swear. Oh yeah, right there. He's tired. I'm saying like a six footer. Round number three, folks. He was so close. We saw the ripples. Oh my gosh, he's going, dude. My line's pretty beat up. My line's beat up. Yeah. I'm playing my drag really loose. He just took out everything I, I gained. So what I'm doing here is I'm just putting my rod on my leg. So basically I have leverage so that I don't have to use my entire body to hold him while he's going. Oh, he just, he just went back out to everything I took. You see her yet? Here. You're right there. You gotta go in. Go in, Nick. Go in. Dude, that thing is long, dude. Go in. Push the tail up. Go push the tail. Go in. You gotta go in. Push your head on the shore. Oh. Come on, Nick. You gotta do it. Gra grab the tail. Grab. No, push the tail. Or. Come on, Nick. <laughs> Here. You come hold. It. You come do it. I'll come land it. Little, not gonna lie, a little intimidated. That's yeah, all. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Better landing over here. Yeah. No, seriously, for real. Yeah, she's good. She's right here. She's perfect. She's fighting in this pool. She's trying to go back out. Here, Nick, how about you come fight her? Oh, wait. wait, hold on. Yeah. I'm gonna try to pull her this way. There she is. Okay, you fight her. I'll go land her. Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to take a Oh my gosh. Come on. Just horse up. Kind of horse him. Pull him up shallow. Go, 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 go. Pull more. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Yep. This yeah. is the beast right here. Again? Yeah. Let's measure. Her. She's calm. So one thing when you're handling big fish, never pull them out on land. You always want to have them in water at least. These fish, their bodies are not designed to be on land, so you always want to be on uh, be on water. What is it? 88. Yo. 88. Hey. Okay. Okay. We're gonna release her. All right. Hooks out. Barbless hook. There she goes. I'm gonna push her out this way, push her head in. There she goes right there. Thank you, big mama. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Nick. Let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 wait, 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 they might just, I don't know.
It looks like your sinker uh, slid, but I don't know. Fish on? Fish on. Baby. Oh, yeah, buddy. Got him? Feel big? Not big, but we'll see. Dang. Is he going? I'm testing him. I don't know how big he is, so. Can you feel him? Yeah, I don't think he's that big. I'm gonna say 500. Just wait, I, I said that about mine. Did you see him fight when I set the hook? Uh-uh. Well, I felt it, bro. I was looking at you, and then I was like, oh, maybe it's nothing. So I literally went to go take a bite of my taco, and then you set the hook. Like, I felt him go, boop, boop, and then, oh. like, I waited, and then I felt a small little tick and just set the hook. Nice. Big one? Respectable for <laughs> sure. Yeah? Respectable for sure. Five and a half, six, six. So he's not big, big. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's doing a crazy run. He's, he's smaller though? Yeah, wait. Way smaller? Definitely way smaller than ours. He's right there, huh? Yeah, dude. I have He's close. Oh, he, he might be energetic. Yeah, I'd be careful if I was you. Yeah, there, yeah, there he goes. Alright, let me come land him. All right, well, this camera wasn't recording, so here's the fish. So we measured him uh, 64, about 63. Yeah, 63. 63 so, for sure. All right, I'm going to unhook him, and then you can turn him around. Yep. So let me see where his mouth is. All right, barbless hook pops right out. Now we'll turn him loose. Turn him out this way. Yep. Oh. Yep, watch out. Oh shoot, <laughs> my bad. It, no, he hit, my, he hit my leg with oh. his spine. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, he's going the wrong way, buddy. <laughs> well, that was a failure. I thought this GoPro was recording the whole time, but it wasn't. But we landed him like 64 inches, so just over five foot. So again, I have another delicious pike minnow as my bait. We'll see how this goes. Oh, that's money. Well, folks, I got uh, tired of recording, but what we got on here is fish number seven. Threw this rod out. Five minutes, fish on. It's a big one. Ah, I horsed them in. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're good. <laughs> dude, I horsed this. I didn't let him go at all, dude. I was like, nope. I, put, I set my drag so tight on this guy. He was trying, every time he was trying to turn his head, like he couldn't go. What'd you say? 72? Six footer? Oh, you have one right here. Well, in that case, let's measure them. What is 74. it? 74. Ah, perfect. Perfect. Six, six, six footer. I think you guys seen us fight enough, so I didn't really record this fight. I just really, I just set my drag super tight so that he couldn't run at all. And so we got this guy in probably like, what, 20 minutes, 15 minutes? So we're Not just- Not even that, sure. It was fast. Nick got done. It took Nick to finish tying his rig and I landed him. But all right, here's a beast. We're gonna let him go now. All right, there you go. Whoa. Full of energy. Yeah, that's the thing. I knew it was full of energy because I never let him fight. So I was just horsing him in. I didn't have a lot of line 
remaining on this reel. That's why I set my drag really tight so that he couldn't um, pull the line. But obviously not so tight where he's gonna snap off. But this line is ready to get replaced. Well earned. This trip was nothing short of spectacular. We're gonna head out. I think we had our fair share of fun. Awesome fishing day. Sturgeon fishing is one of my favorite things. I'm sure you guys can tell, but that's gonna do it. This was the first fishing video first sturgeon fishing video of 2021 thank you guys so much for watching this episode and i'll see you guys back on the river chasing some river monsters whenever